your belief and your faith in me motivates me to keep going. And sometimes when I'm tired or beaten down, like a lot of us have been this year, it's, it's my family, my friends, my babies, and my fans, you guys, who have lifted me up when I couldn't lift myself. Jennifer Lopez delivered a moving speech at E's People's Choice Awards Sunday and had us feeling all the feels. I have nothing to complain about. JLo was honored as the people's icon of 2020, but before she took the mic, a few of Jen's famous friends surprised her with some sweet virtual messages. And let's just say Jen was deeply touched. And I long admired your work and your uncompromising work ethic and your beautiful, authentic audacity made of passion, vision, determination, self-respect, and courage. Yeah, like Renee Zellweger. You have been pushing boundaries all over the place for decades. And Nicole Kidman. You are the true definition of an icon. I have known you for a long time now, and I have watched you go from <laughs> strength to strength. But the sweetest moment came courtesy of Jen's 12-year-old twins, Max and Emmy, who she shares with her ex, Mark Anthony. JLo shared this behind the scenes look at the twins recording their virtual message and called it her favorite moment of the night in the caption. Is someone cutting onions? Someone passed JLo and me a tissue. Thanks. After those moving tributes, Jen had her moment in the spotlight and said what we're all thinking. 2020, it's been no joke. This year was the great leveler. It showed us what mattered, what didn't. And for me, reinforced what matters most, people. And cue even more waterworks. Helping each other, loving each other, being kind to each other, and the importance of that connection, that, that human touch. And I realize it's, it's what I strive for in everything I do, to reach people, to touch people. I believe that's what we all want, you know, those shared experiences, to know that we're not in this alone. Guys, I'm still crying here. <laughs> that was always my dream. The 51-year-old also thanked her fans for allowing her to perform for them all these years, especially as a Latina woman. As a Latina and as a woman, you know, we have to sometimes, we have to work twice as hard to get the opportunity. Sometimes my big dreams and my ambitions, it made the people around me nervous. You know, people would say, you're a dancer, you can't be an actress. You're an actress, what, what, what you wanna sing? You're an artist you won't be taken seriously as a businesswoman. And you know, it was like the more that they said I couldn't, the more that I knew that I had to. The triple threat even spoke a little in Spanish for her fans around the world. A donde quiera que yo esté y a donde quiera que yo vaya, siempre los tengo presente. Y es para mí un orgullo poder representar a los Latinos de todas partes con todo mi corazón y con todo mi amor. Gracias, mi gente. Los quiero mucho. Y recuerden. And Jen, she just hopes there are little girls out there that are inspired by her journey. I want them to know their dreams are limited only by their imagination and determination and their willingness to never give up. If I have touched you or them in any small way, then this is the greatest award that I could ever receive. I accept this award with great humility and gratitude and with the hope that we can begin to heal as a country and stand together united and proud and in harmony. Yeah, Jennifer just straight up took us to church and the congregation said, Amen.